Here we go. <laughs> okay. Hello, my name is Simon McGowan, and my topic tonight is going to be Pimp My Bioplastic. Sounds really, really awesome, but got no information as well. So I got a subtitle called Stabilization of Polylactic Acid in Bracket PLR Against Hydrolytic Degeneration by Suitable Additives. Now you got a raw idea about what I'm going to talk tonight. But uh, I miss really people who said, ah, yes, no, finally, happy year. So I think I have to explain my subtitle. And I'm going to start with polylactic acid in brackets PLR. So polylactic acid is a bioplastic, sounds good. It contains the word bio. But what's really behind bioplastic? So um, if we go into a trade or a fair show, people come over to our booth and say, hey, yeah, bioplastics, I know the shit, you can eat it. Very, very difficult, of course, you can eat a lot of things like uh, stones and Lego bricks and fingernails, everything possible to eat, but not typical for bioplastics. Next thing, oh yeah, bioplastics, the green plastic. So here in my pocket, I got a green sharper made by PLA, so bioplastic is green, but I got in my other pocket, or right over there, a red sharper, also from PLA, is red. So not typical for bioplastics. Next thing, I, uh, is my favorite one is, Bioplastics are going to disappear when it rains. Ladies and gentlemen, I promise you, either the green or the red sharper will disappear when it rains, especially when they are inside when it rains. So, what are bioplastics? Um, still a difficult question. I had to make a term. What are plastics? So, plastics are made of monomers. Here we got a picture of a monomer. Hello, little monomer. It's got a, a free hand on the left, free hand on the right, and can grab other monomers to build a giant chain. So, this sounds abstract now, so I decided to give you a little example. <laughs> so, we have a polymer chain right here, and if you look sharply, you will recognize, hey, yeah, it's a biopolymer, because it's 100% biodegradable. <laughs> okay, here I got a two-dimensional picture of a three-dimensional model, and if you zoom out, you find this. This is a cup made by polypropylene. So, um, if we talk about plastics in general, there are two important things. The one thing is plastics are made by crude oil and the other thing, they are not degradable. So now we come to the bioplastics. So we got, ah, very nice. So we got bioplastics, they are made by crude oil, but they are degradable. The next part is we got um, bioplastics who are from renewable resources, but not biodegradable. And here, my favorite kind, uh, you have got bio bioplastics who are made from renewable resources and they are biodegradable. If you have a shukla, uh, sharp look, you find PLA. People ask me, Simon, why bioplastics? And I just show them this picture if I wanted to talk about bioplastics. So if you see on the one side the pr production capacity and on the other side the yes, we find out, oh no, we are having a problem with that. And I try how to make it visually. I said, yesterday Dallas, tomorrow Mad Max. <laughs> okay, this is for the 80s people. So for the Instagram people, I have YOLO, what the fuck? Okay, thanks a lot. Another additional benefit of bioplastics is a so-called marine litter problem. This problem grows around about 400 tons per hour. Uh, right now we're talking about a total amount of around about 500 million tons. And here, bioplastics who are biodegradable can give a good chance to, uh, to protect the sea. I don't want any plastic in the sea, but I would feel much better if it's biodegradable than uh, common plastics. So, summarize. Polylactic acid, PLA is a bioplastic, and it's made of renewable resources, and it's biodegradable. So the next point is the hydrolytic degeneration. So I have a little graph here. So we got the PLA chain. If it gets co in contact with water, we got uh, the water installed into the chain and the chain break. And so this looks a little bit abstract. I try to make it a little bit easier. As you can see, the chain gets broken by the water. Okay, PLA becomes brittle and fragile, and of course, PLA losses its stability. So, if we summarize, PLA is a biodegradable bioplastic made of raw materials, which is very, very good. <laughs> but on the other hand, the hydrolysis of PLA limits the application possibilities, which is not so good. <laughs> okay, the next question is, what can we do? The keyword is stabilization. And stabilization is very good through additives. What are additives? 
These are chemical substances to improve the performance of plastic. For example, like um, colorants or flame retardants. The right additive, the suitable additive for our process, um, have been uh, carbon diamides. What do they do? They block important places on the PLA chain, so the PLA comes more resistant. And as you can imagine, here we've got a little simulation. Whoop! And another one, and another one, and suddenly, pang! As you can see here, see here, PLA resists longer against hydrolysis, but remains biodegradable, which is very important. So, I'm trying to show you a little experiment. I want to represent the influence of hydrolysis to PLA, and I want to make a comparison of the properties of three different boards with the same geometry. So we got three different boards here. Board number one, fresh from the machine, no contact to water, 100% PLA. Board two, 100% PLA, but 120 hours at 60 degrees in a water bath. And the board number three, 19, uh, whatever. Um, this is pure PLA and have got an additivation of 1.5% and stay also in water for 120 hours at 60 degrees. So let's start the experiment. So what I need is a so-called Normholz block, or Normholz. Next big thing is we need a Norm nail made from Norm steel. And then we need the board number one. As you remember, 100% PLA with no contact to water. Please look. And as you can see, the nail is in the wood. And this was once mice. Please, one small applause for this very nice board. OK, people. Here's the second nail, and as we remember, board number two, same material as board number one, but have got a, a resistant time from 120 hours in 60 degrees water. Let's have a look what it can do. Oh, performance was very, very weak. No one has seen anything, so I'm going to show you this as a slow motion. <laughs> have a look, people. As you see, also a very weak performance. But here, ladies and gentlemen, we got board number three with a special stabilization. Have a look, also stays in water. Yes. Okay, people, PLA successfully pinned. I was talking a lot, and uh, I would like to give you more information. If you need more information about bioplastics, please have a look at, at, at our internet domain. And it's very important, efbb-hanover.de. Otherwise, if you only uh, type efbb.de, you will land here, which is the Institute for Bodybuilding, <laughs> which also got a very nice webpage, but nothing to do with bioplastics. Thanks a lot.